Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at using the Google Meet link in Google Classroom. And this is a really important issue because for a while since it was brought in, there has been some uncertainty over how safe it is, whether students can access calls without teachers and all these kind of things. So I've been doing some testing and just want to share what I've been looking at. So one of the key things, if you don't want students being able to initiate their own calls, is that that does have to be um, set that way in your admin console. So you do need to check with any admins that that is the case. So in our trust, that, that is set so students should never be able to initiate a Google Meet, but they can join them. You can also turn it off so they're not allowed to join them as well on the admin console. And so when we've got this feature therefore in Google Classroom, you can see the Generate Meet link here. And so if I click on that link, it then gives me the option here to generate meet link and then to choose whether that is visible for students. So I can turn that off at this point or I can have it on. So once I click save, then that will then be visible for students. So you can see it there for me. I'm going to flick over to my student account and you can see at the moment it's not there, but I'm just going to refresh that page. And there you can see the link is now visible. And so this is the big concern. So what happens now if as a student, I'm going to click on this and join the call. So as you can see here, it says students can't create a meeting themselves. So I can just close this down. So that's locked because the teacher isn't there. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and the teacher is going to start the call. So they click on the link when they're ready. And they go into the waiting room. Now, when they're in the waiting room, if I'm going to click on the student, so if the student tries to join now as well, you get this screen come up, but then it will say the meeting hasn't yet started. So they can't, still can't join even if the teacher is in the waiting room. So the teacher has to join. I'm just going to turn off my mic. So the teacher has to join. And then the student is able to join. So now if the student clicks on this, they are able to join the call with the teacher. So we've got our call now, we've got our student, we've got our teacher. And so what will happen is if the teacher is in the call, obviously once they're done, and this is the protocol that you need to make sure you do take because otherwise there is risk. So the teacher needs to make sure that everyone is removed from the call before they leave. Otherwise, theoretically, the students could continue in the call without the teacher. So if I'm gonna click on the people, as a teacher, I can remove people as well. Obviously, you can just ask them to leave or you could click remove from meeting. Now, just to show you, if I leave as the teacher. So I've left as the teacher, I'm going back into student view. It tells me the teacher's left, but I'm still in the call. So this is an example of how that could then be abused by the student. And so you need to make sure they leave or remove them before the call is ended. So what I'm going to do is, and this is where students might try and abuse things. So if I was to copy the link of the Google Meet, I'm going to leave the call. And then if I try and rejoin, it will tell me the meeting's ended. If I repaste the link and try and add that in, it will show me that code doesn't work. So this is all good security. And again, even as a student, now if I click on the link again, it says I can't create the call. So once the student is out and the teacher is out, they can't rejoin or recreate the call without the teacher being there. So that's great for security. From a teacher perspective, obviously you've now got that Meet link in the Google Classroom. If you do go into your settings and you go down to Meet, you can turn that off so it's no longer visible for students. And if you really want to, for a bit of extra security, you can reset the link so it's a completely different link. Although, as I've shown, that they can't rejoin that link without you as a teacher being in there as well. So I hope this has shown you how you can use the Meet link in Google Classroom and how it is quite now secure for your students. So hopefully that gives you some good confidence in using it in the class.